guys, we're back. We spent the last few months in the mountains of Montana enjoying our family and friends and our grandbaby and snow. Gonna go on an adventure into the mountains. When it's time for us to get off the water, we head straight to the mountains. Every year we try to take a break from salt water and sunburn and chill out in the snow. Of course, we also enjoy online shopping. We stock up on parts and supplies and any little gadgets we need for the boat, like the Mavic Pro Zoom drone that Keith is learning how to fly here. You can find the exact link to the one we got and lots more of our favorite goodies on our website. We've been skiing at Big Sky Country for the last decade, and it's one of the things we really enjoy doing together as a family. It brings us together, and we all ski, we all love it, and we just really enjoy the snow sports and the winter sports of Montana. But now that we're refreshed and rejuvenated, we're ready to get back out on the water and continue our sailing adventure and take you places you've never been before. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They tell us off the line that I just let it float away Yeah, I'll let it float away I'll let it float away I'll let it float away Float away, float away This year we got another chance to attend the Miami International Boat Show and what a great show it was. We got to hang out with our friends at Highfield, Privilege, B&G, and a lot of other of our great partners. And more importantly, we got to spend a lot of time with all the people who follow the show and listen to everybody's stories. We also had a meet and greet in our hometown of Flyer Mound, Texas, where the sailing dream first began four years ago. It's always such a joy to meet other couples and families who are preparing to take that first step to enjoying their own sailing adventure. We want to thank all you guys who took the time to come out to Bozeman, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Dallas and share your crazy stories and your upcoming dreams with us. We also got invited to Just Catamaran's VIP event with Jason and Nikki on Gone with the Winds. And one of the main questions we got asked was, do we carry guns? Keith, uh, sailing with family, <clears throat> protection, do you carry on the water? And if so, does that change the countries that you decide to visit to navigate around that? All right, good question. So this is the guns question. Do we carry armaments? Do we carry weapons of mass destruction? Uh, so I'm a gun guy, grew up ranching, grew up in that world, hunting, fishing, I'm a gun guy, love America, and so to carry a gun and you go to a country and they make you check that weapon at the port and then you're cruising around the island, what good does that weapon do you? You're not going to get robbed or, or boarded on the high seas a thousand miles from land, it's going to be around those islands. So. The first year, because I didn't know, I carried a gun and, and I took it all the way to Australia, reported it in Australia and brought the gun back to, to te back to Texas. The second trip, after experiencing that, I realized I never felt unsafe out there. I've never, we've never been in a place, I mean, there's been some times where we thought, are those pirates or is it a fishing boat? And nine times out of 10, it's probably a fishing boat. You know, and, but you get scared out of your mind. You're like, oh, is that, they, yeah, what do they want? But so, the rule for me came down to this. If I get in a gunfight with somebody out there on the water, 
which if it was just me and my wife, I probably wouldn't have a problem, and I'm bravado in saying this, but I probably wouldn't have a problem with that. But if they shoot back at me, and chances are they're not going to be very good shots at night, and my kids are down in the hall, that fiberglass is not going to stop an AK-47 bullet. And it's going to go through that hole, and if it hits one of my kids, that's an outcome I can't live with. So it doesn't matter how brave I am or how tough I think I am, if they spray my boat with bullets and it hits one of my kids that are down hiding, I can't live with that outcome. Most of the time, and it's kind of rumored, I don't know if it's a fact, but most of the time when you fly an American flag, most people think you're armed because you're red, you know, they think you're red, but they'll attack the Frenchies, they'll attack the other guys, but, but they won't attack us. I, I don't know. But, all right, guys, I want to thank everybody for coming today. And I'll, uh, I'll turn it back over to Tom and uh, we'll take a few minute break. Finn's getting his teeth cleaned. Why well, are you looking sharp there with the glasses? And that. You didn't even take your hat off. Wow. <laughs> Excellent time for some uh, good video. <laughs> After a year in her Invisalign, Kate's teeth are almost perfect. She was set up with the second and final phase of the program, and the effects of her four years of thumb sucking are almost gone. Can you say sailing Zatara? Sailing Zatara. Oh, that's easy. Good. Kate, Kate's getting holes punched in her ears. Oh, piercings. Just do it. Oh, okay. Just oh, sorry. It. Okay, just do it, she okay, said. Don't move. Don't I'm not going to move. Just okay. do it really quickly. Quick pinch. Did you do it? Yep. Oh. Sitting there. Oh. Good. <laughs> I can't even lose. Okay. Good job. Second one. <laughs> Sweetie. All right. Just like a knee. Just do it. Okay. It's a little pinch and then that's it. Yep. Yep. Wow. I, I thought it was going to be like bleeding. No. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're such a beauty. Beauty. So here in a few days, we have to head to the airport and we have to leave Anna there. We're all going to New Zealand to get back on the boat, but she is staying in Texas to go to college and to pursue her dreams. It just really hasn't hit me yet because she's still here with us. And I mean, she's been with me for 18 years and we've homeschooled. Keith has worked from home. We've always been together. I don't think it'll hit me until I get on the boat and it's quiet and her room is empty and her piercing loud voice is not barreling down the halls and all through the salon and telling us what to do and how to do it. Um, gosh, I love her. I'm going to miss her so much. It's, it's going to be a tough team without her, but we'll make it work and, and maybe she'll come back. Who knows? Few more days till we leave Anna. Yes, this is tough. I was in mourning over the holidays, but I'm getting better now. But Literal mourning, crying, I mean, weeping. It was weeping hard. It was tough. I just, and it wasn't so much about Anna leaving as much as it was about, as much as it was about uh, my little girl grew up and I didn't realize it. And I had to come to grips with that. And I'm hoping she'll be back on the boat here in the next six months i don't care if she come i want her to come back i'd <laughs> rather spend the next two years exploring the world with her and then she can start her life but i understand she needs to get off the boat so it's a negative time for me on that that front everything else is positive but that's a it's a real loser right now i know today's monday we're fixing to go to the airport in about three hours we got a call. To go to the airport in about three hours fixing and, to go and we get a call we got the call. Every time we come back to Dallas, we get our doctor's appointments and checkups and everything. And um, I got a mammogram this time, which I haven't had in two years because I forgot last year. But anyway, I get a mammogram every year since I've turned 40. And they just called me a minute ago saying there was an oval mass on my right breast. So I don't even have time to see a radiologist or get a, they want me to do a second checkup, but I don't have time. So we're going to get the the uh, CD and all this, the x-ray and everything, and and maybe we'll put it on social media and y'all can look at it and tell me if there's something wrong. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All 
not really. Oh, so anyway, we're gonna go get the, the paperwork, the x-ray, and take it to New Zealand, and I guess I'll get something done there. I have a radiologist look at it. I'm sure it's nothing. It's nothing. What else, y'all? That's it. To get, tell me a story. Give me something good. Now I got a checkup. They said my member is a lot bigger now. It's just because you can see it now that your belly's not so big. They thought I had a growth. <laughs> And I did when I, the nurse came in. I oh, can't I post care. that. <laughs> you gonna miss us? Oh, very nice. Oh. Yeah, I've got the interview tomorrow at 11, so I won't be by your house till uh, okay. maybe one or two. Okay. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. Yeah, we're gonna miss you. I know. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna miss you too. So we're taking, we're going to the airport. It's uh, that's not crying. It's 5:30. Yep. It's gonna be a tough day. I know. It's like every time I talk, it's gonna be a tough day. my voice is quivering. <laughs> we gotta keep it together. Come, come on, on, guys. Come on. I'm not gonna cry at all today. Uh huh. I don't want to break down Let's like I did bets. when uh, my first <laughs> mate. Oh, I don't yeah, want to do it. It's fight. okay to cry, boys. You know you're allowed to cry. It's okay. It's I know, but it's exhausting. It, it is exhausting. <laughs> exhausting. I don't, don't want to be exhausted on a 14 hour flight. I know it. My first mate's leaving me. Aww. Jack's what about me? Jack's moving into the first mate. Oh, there we go. Am I getting paid Aww. now? No. Wait. <laughs> you haven't earned the right yet. You gotta, you gotta do the job to earn the right. Oh, everybody's gonna want to know where Kate is. Oh, uh, well, we, her, we forgot her. At, we forgot her at the house. Oh my gosh. No, she's with a friend. She's meeting us at the airport. She's, no, actually, we uh, swapped Anna out for Kate. We swapped. We did the kid, kid swap. So we are already lost without Anna. Yeah. They had a gate change on us. We didn't look at the boarding passes. And uh, online it said D-17. as in Delta-17. Now we're going to Alpha-16. <laughs> it's a good thing we got here early. Anna, yeah. we miss you already. Anna, we miss you already. Where's the navigator when you need her? I know, right? I mean, this is going to go viral, this video. Oh, totally viral. Hey, wait, Mom, look at me. Wait, Some kind of virus somewhere. Boss it's not, it's not Uh, two. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like piping. 
All right, guys, enough about what we did in the past. Let's talk about what we're doing now. We're back on the boat. We got Flexi Teak, new decks being put on the boat. We got our new windlass. We got an anchor chain. We got new canvas cushions. We got a new cell bag. The boat has a complete makeover, new lipstick. She's not a pig anymore. <laughs> but we're ready to get on the water and we're ready to get cruising. We're ready to get up to the islands in, in April and start getting into the tropics and kiteboarding with the family. And the last little clip we got here is us, me and my boys jamming on the guitars of Montana. They're getting better. I'm getting a little better. And it's just one of the little songs we've just made up and, and we like playing it together. I couldn't figure out anywhere else to put it in this video. So. so we hope you enjoy that. And with that being said, we look forward to seeing you guys out there on the water. Bye.